having the capacity to make real, to, to, to render real drums in the box is ridiculous. You realise that when you start using BFD because what you're listening to is the best kits tuned really well, the excellent kind of signal chains in beautiful environments that are, you know, custom made. The whole reason that people get into swinging beats and syncopation and these subtleties that humanising in short is because that doesn't allow you to think that you know what's going on. So you, you remain engaged <clears throat> in what you're listening to if, if there's an element, if there's a human element to it. And so with that in mind, um, a lot of the, I do use BFD a lot to, to kind of humanise the, the rhythmic aspect of a track that I'm working on. Say what's underlying the words. Just this. Ah. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful sound. It's a really kind of fuzzy, kind of rusty, metallic. Take your head I really like it a lot. It's really warm and it distorts in a really nice way. This body slides. One of the things about making electronic music and about electronic music generally that's I think it's so important for people to try and get to the point where they're programming so quickly that it's almost like they're playing like it has that kind of immediacy it's like you're playing the software you're not sitting there looking at a screen and kind of being in being cerebral about it you're actually being really spontaneous with it in the same way that you'd be when you're playing. And I think it's really important for all of these things to be able to give you something immediately. Do you know what I mean? Like, and that's what I really like about it, guys. It's really fast. You can get something really good together in like, like I could probably get a beat together that was good in like seven minutes. Do you know what I mean? And it'd be like, look, we can work with this. <laughs> Yeah.